The day began with plenty of talking to be done. Obviously, I'm confident that I'm the one that, that should lead the state, but I, I accept that we have a process to go through and I'll be doing that in a very respectful way. Well, I'm just talking to people now. I haven't made any decision, just talking to people. Oh, look, I'm just trying to walk the dog. I'll have a coffee and I'm talking to my colleagues this morning. Left faction MPs aligned with the United Workers' Union met first. Among them, Amber Jade Sanderson and Roger Cook. But it was the current health minister who emerged victorious. I've been chosen uh, with a clear majority uh, to be the candidate to go forward uh, for the leadership. Uh, I will now reach out to my colleagues. Roger Cook left without comment. Down, but not out of the race. His prospects lifted when the AMWU, the other key left faction union, met and backed him in. We've made a decision uh, about what we think is best for Western Australia. So our support is for Roger Cook as Premier. Uh, if Rita Safiotti was to put her hand up for Deputy Premier, we would also support her in that position too. Mr Cook and Ms Safiotti met this afternoon, agreeing that partnership could work. With the joint Roger and Rita ticket also winning the support of Labor's right faction, the writing was on the wall. Late today, Amber Jade Sanderson withdrew from the race, saying in the interests of unity and stability, she will not be putting herself forward, adding she looks forward to working with the new leadership team. A former political staffer to Stephen Smith and Jim McGinty, Roger Cook was a member of the Miscellaneous Workers' Union, now the United Workers' Union. He went on to work with Indigenous organisations and in communications and PR. Roger Cook was elected to Parliament in 2008 as the member for Quinana. There was no political apprenticeship, he was immediately thrust into the role of deputy. His face has become more familiar to most, having helped guide WA through the pandemic as health minister, before becoming minister for state development and tourism in 2021. Are you looking forward to being Premier? Well, look, I, I think I'm ready to lead. Uh, I've been the Deputy Premier for six years now, working with Mark in some tough times, particularly during COVID. His next assignment? Putting his own stamp on the government after Mark McGowan's dominant six-year reign.